other gym and it didn't include any nutrition and it was a lot of cardio. <laughs> um, it wasn't as enjoyable. I noticed that I didn't enjoy it as much. Um, but that was the really nice thing about Octane is they gave me that nutrition aspect and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm totally doing this wrong. So um, anyway, that chart was fantastic. It's still on the side of our refrigerator three years later. <laughs> and I still will glance at it from time to time. I was weighing my protein, making sure it was enough. Because that, at one time, I think we were supposed to be having like six eggs at a time, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's a lot of eggs. And so I didn't know what six ounces of uh, chicken was, so I was weighing to see how much it was, and it's a lot more food than I expected. Um, so I eat a lot. <laughs> I eat a lot. Um, so for breakfast, since we're just talking about breakfast, um, I always have um, egg white omelet with a lot of kale. And then for my carbs, I have like cherry tomatoes and um, squash or zucchini, little bits cut up in there. Um, I, oh, I also put in um, shallots or onions in my... This is in your omelet? This is all in my omelet, yeah. <laughs> um, and then I used to also have a side salad and a cup of tea, but I passed on those and then just having my omelet for breakfast. Um, so anyway, eggs. Eggs are always in our fridge. We always get a lot of eggs because if I ever don't know what to have, I'm like, oh, I'm out of chicken. I eat a lot of chicken or out of whatever protein. As long as I have eggs, I'll just make myself an omelet or boil some eggs. Just, it's like a really easy, quick um, you can just protein. Egg so you have whole eggs. I generally don't have the whole egg. I just eat the whites. Um, Why not? Because I'll I'll get my fat. Yeah, I'll get my fat in other ways. I'd rather have a little bit of avocado oil, like three quarters of a teaspoon. I pour on my vegetables just to give it a little flavor and not have it stick together and everything. So I'll get my fat in other ways. Um, I'd rather sacrifice the yolk. Um, so anyway. Um, vegetables, I know I put, um, I have a vegetable at every meal, and when I'm desperate and I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't have time, or I don't know what to have, I have a pickle, <laughs> or a couple pickles. It's a cucumber, right? It's just pickled. Um, but pickles are also my go-to snack, and I feel munchy, and I want to, like, you know when you get that craving for, like, something crunchy and, like, chips, and to reach for chips or whatever, I'm like, pickles. So I always have a lot of pickles. Grill those pickles are delicious if you haven't tried them. They're really good. Um, so yeah, it was really tough in the beginning with the eating. I was pretty grumpy. Um, it was devastating. I couldn't have cake with my daughter for her birthday. Um, <clears throat> so that was that was really tough. But I think the hardest part is being that person and when you go out to eat, you know, like, oh, we can't go to Taco Bell or whatever because Kelly is eating healthy. <laughs> so it's all, that was the hardest part, um, the social aspect of it and where to, what to eat when you go out. Um, so that, that was tough, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it still is tough, um, but I don't get a lot of salads because uh, in the beginning I do eat a little more salads now, but when I was starting out, there's just the dressings are just loaded with um, calories and fats and so we used a lot of lemon juice at the time. Um, and actually, I use a lot of lemon juice and lime juice when I'm cooking chicken. And I, like I say, I eat a lot of chicken. So, um, chicken breast. So <clears throat> that's, I think, um, what I, the notes I have for breakfast or for, I should say, for eating in general. Um, the other things I would say is listen to your trainer. <laughs> they know what they're doing. You're paying for this. so. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just do what I'm told. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, my at least my last trainer. That is something I learned. So um, anyway, it's also nice to have a workout buddy, kind of an accountability person, to encourage you, and then you can also lament afterwards. You can, oh my gosh, can you believe how many of those things we had to do? Oh my god, you know, you can kind of complain about it a little bit later. Um, but then at the same time, when you're complaining, it feels kind of good. I don't know about you, but I'm like, but I did it. You know, it's like, it's very encouraging. It's very motivating. So I'm like, that was tough, but I did it. And the coaches aren't going to have you do something you physically can't do. So it's supposed to be hard. Just do it. <laughs> like the Nike saying, just do it. 
Um, a regular workout schedule. So I, um, we go every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8.30 a.m. It's just, that's part of our routine. People know to leave me alone at 8 30, from 8.30 to 9.30. And when something comes up, I get pretty grumpy when I have to be late or miss a, a workout, so I try not to. Um, but when it's a regular part of your routine, it's just, it makes it easier. It's just, that's what you do. Um, and you find that's, it's part of your schedule. So it's like when you go to work from nine to five, you go to the gym at whatever time it is. I find it's easier for me personally to work out in the mornings because if I wait to the end of the day, I'm tired. I have laundry to do, I've got dinner to cook, I've got homework to help with, with my daughter, whatever, driving her places. So working out in the morning is always better for me. Um, and I'm not as tired. And it's a great way to start the day. It actually gives me energy when I go to the gym. And actually, I'm, my profession is a psychologist, and I just went to a conference, and they talked about a, um, a study that was done, and I'm gonna have to go back and pull up my notes and find the study. I don't know if you've heard of it, Maria, but it was, um, they gave some people medication, antidepressants for depression, and then some people they had on a strict exercise routine, and the results were the same. So I was like, well, I believe it, because I feel really good when I come to the gym. It is my mood changes. Chad will even say, oh God, just go to the gym. You're <laughs> just go. And it, I just, I feel better, I do. So um, anyway, um, what else? My Zone. Does everybody have a My Zone band? I think they're fabulous. If you don't have one, I would recommend getting one. Um, I don't compare my, what, what is on my numbers with the next person. I'm completely looking at me because if I'm just staying in green, I'm going, I know I can get better, I can do better than that. If I'm just, if I can't get out of green, I'm like, okay, push yourself harder, get a heavier weight, whatever, do a few more reps or something like that. Um, so it keeps me, I guess, accountable and it pushes me. It also tells me when I'm pushing myself too hard, when I'm like 99%, 100%, 95%, I'm like, okay, take a breath. So it kind of, it helps for that. Um, so I love the my zone. Um, so yeah, use it as a way to challenge and pace yourself. Um, don't focus on your peers. Don't focus on the numbers as much. That's what I'm trying to do in my clinical practice as well. Just um, not necessarily focusing on the outcome, but the effort. So I, I work with a lot of kids with self-esteem issues and I feel like it's, Mm, counterproductive to always be like, oh, but you look so great, oh, but you're so cute, or you're, you know, and giving all these compliments. Instead, what I'm trying to do is compliment effort, and so I'm going, why don't I do that to myself, you know? Well, you worked really hard today. Wow, you really pushed yourself today, or whatever, and just, I don't know, and that's what I like about the My Zone, um, <clears throat> my zone Effort Points map. So, um, so focus on your effort. That was really good, right? I thought that was, yeah. that was a good point. Yeah, very good point. Um, the other thing, watch coach videos, read the emails. It makes it relevant to your everyday life. Um, I think that's all I have. Any other questions? Anything else you want me to talk about?